Now that we know how to hold the stick the right way and how to strike the drum the right way, we have to learn exactly where on the drum that we need to strike it. Start with your grip, first finger and thumb, a third of the way up about the American flag on the Vic Firth sticks, wrap the fingers around, and now hold them out in front of you and make the upside down letter V. Bring that down to the drum pad and let them sit there. Don't actually let the two drumstick tips touch each other, but get really close to each other, almost like they're kissing. Now look and make sure that you still see the upside down letter V. Here's a good chance to double check that your palm is facing the floor and the top of your hand is facing the ceiling. Now bring the tips of your drumsticks right to the very center of your drum or your pad. Then slide them all the way up to the top edge, the one that's farther away from you. The best place to hit the drum is about halfway between the center and the edge. So now find the halfway point and keep your upside down letter V in that position. That's going to be the same whether you're using a drum pad or if you're using just a regular snare drum. Find the center, find the top edge, and then find the space about halfway in between. That's where we want to hit the drum. So now with all those things in place, keep your left stick touching the drum pad and we're going to raise the right stick and hit the drum eight times in a row. Remember to use only the wrist to lift up your hand and nothing else. While you're playing these eight strokes, count out loud with your voice. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do the same thing with your left hand. Make sure that the stick is going straight up and down and that it's not moving at any sort of angle. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's do both hands together. This is a great opportunity to double check that the sticks are coming up the same height and at the same time. They should be a mirror image of each other. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's going to bring us to our first drumming exercise that's called eight on a hand. And you could probably guess that just means eight strokes on each hand. Before we do it on the drum, I want you to do it up in the air while saying it with your voice and counting out loud. Ready, go. Right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch, left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now do that same thing with the proper stick placement, the proper grip, and the proper type of stroke. One, two, ready, go. Right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, switch. Left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, stop. Now we're going to do what's called alternating or going back and forth between your right and your left hands. Let's start that same exercise again and we'll go starting with the right, back and forth. Ready, go. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Do the same thing, but this time start with your other hand. Ready, go. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. So now we're going to learn what's called eight on a hand. And you can probably figure out means eight strokes on each hand. Let's start by holding your sticks up in the air out in front of you. And I want you to count out loud while you move your wrists. Ready, go. Right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to do that same thing, but in the good spot right on the drum. We'll start with the right hand, and when we're playing with the right hand, your left hand should hover above the drum just an inch or less. And then when we switch to the left hand, your right hand will hover right above the drum. Here we go. Two, ready, go. Right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll do that one more time. This time, make sure your stick is going straight up and down and not sweeping across in any sort of weird angle. Just straight up and down. Double check that your palms are facing the floor, the top of your hand is facing the ceiling, and that you're bending from the wrists only. Here we go. Two, ready, 
play. Right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a really good exercise to play every single time you step in front or sit in front of the drum. So now, before you do anything else, check the grip, set yourself up, and play eight on a hand.